five pounds and same exact thing I mean the girl is amazing she's the love of my life and by the time it was all over you couldn't even have a conversation I remember once I went to visit her and um well, did she, you tell Danielle that? I that didn't. you had someone in your past? I don't know that she even grasped what it was that mm. I was even getting at. I honestly think she's so immersed in what's going on here that she thought, like, and this, like, really hurt my feelings also. It's like, I think she thought I was, like, just trying to blow her spot, like, call attention to her, like, shine a spotlight on her and be like, this girl's getting weak and her attitude is crumbling already. Let's all pick on her. So if I ask her how she's feeling five times, then eventually, you know, she's going to melt down or something like that. And, like, it was so... Um, I, I don't even know if, like, it's worth saying it to her because she'll probably just go run to her little cronies and be like, oh, you didn't believe this. Eric came over and he was all upset and... He blah 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 and what a fucking idiot and you know it's like I don't even know if I care to do it because if I felt like she could sit and talk and listen and be helpful like like you can um I would have the conversation with her if I feel like she's gonna make light of the situation if I heard one joke come out of someone's mouth about this I would fucking flip I mean I would fucking flip because for all I know I don't even you know, know if the girl's okay now. And, like, at the time that, like, we broke up, she really wasn't. And, you know, every single fucking day for two years afterwards, it, it, it's not like I emotionally wanted to be with her in any which way. As I was saying, I went to visit her once, and, like, she basically, like, I was, I mean, I came to visit the girl. She basically didn't get out of bed. Like, she kept the lights off. Like, so... so such a shell of herself, you know, it wasn't happy at all to see me, it's nothing, it's just horrible, and it totally, um, run its course or whatever, but the, um, but every single day you have no clue if, like, she did ultimately get help, I'd like to think, like, I left her in a position where she was, like, aware of what she needed to do, tried to give her the steps to allow her to do it I mean fuck I, I even left the girl and she was not like you know she was young she didn't have like a great family relationship she wasn't someone who could really take the initiative on things so like you know I, le I, I left her with the money like to go and, and I mean I, I can you fucking imagine you're breaking up with your girlfriend of two years and you leave her a fucking envelope that says, like, please, like, get better with, like, a fucking check in it. I mean, how do you do that? Like, after, you know, with, like, your high school sweetheart who you were married to for 20 years, I had to leave a letter, like, please, like, call one of these places and, like, talk to someone. Because she wasn't going to talk to me, and I was the only person in her life that she ever possibly would talk to. And um, here it is. I have this fucking spoiled fucking bitch of a 21-year-old girl in this house who's clearly taking this for granted. I mean, I was fucking kidding. Obviously, last night, someone told this girl, you better watch it because you pissed Derek off, and um, you, you better pull it together because if you continue on this thing and he or any of his friends are head of household you're going to be out next week so she came back yesterday you know all peaches and cream and oh, blah, 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 blah. but you know perception is reality so on day two oh ha 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 like you know this is funnier than I thought it would be like what an interesting girl um on day eight or nine after this transpired I was seeing everything in a totally different light. And she sat there yesterday as she sat next to me to try and re-endear herself into me not, and, and talked crap about every single person in the entire house. Mm. Every single person. I don't care if they were her friend, her enemy, if they were walking by, if we had just seen them, if we, where is this person? Whoever came up was fair game to her. I didn't say a word. I didn't agree. I didn't engage in it. 
and I'm thinking to myself.